First of all, like, comment, and subscribe. You can send me whatever you need to send me. Indigo Campaigns art to use as a backdrop. In uh, my, my email will be in the description. It's biancazombie 602 at gmail.com. This is Ruby Rose with a stunning and brave mental illness haircut. Good looking chick, definitely. Batwoman. Let's see what the critics have to say. Though it needs more time to develop its own identity to truly soar, Batwoman's fun and stylish first season is a step in the right direction for representation. Why is that important? Even the shill critics, and I will read their shilling, shilling for shekels, gave it only a 74%. Obviously, they are racist, sexist, and, I don't know, um, gayist, misogynist? I, I'm not sure. The audience, which is, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes and you want to know what people are really, I mean, what the real score of it is, it's the audience score. 16% says... Mm, it's about as palatable as dog food. Action adventure. Are you sure? Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the cast. Ruby Rose, short-haired lesbian. So that will appeal to the short-haired lesbian audience. Out of a third of a billion people, how many short-haired lesbians are in your audience? Diversity higher. Mm, Diversity higher, diversity higher, diversity higher. Fair enough. Let's take a look at the critics' reviews. Shill, 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 shill. The best part of the new series is that unfussy, effortless way of getting Kate's sexual orientation out of the way? What the f hell is wrong with you people? Why should that even be relevant? A little dramatic coaching might have been helpful. She delivers every line with the same monotonous flatness. Moody is one thing, but numb isn't a particularly engaging vibe. Yeah, interesting. Batman had a certain... A certain delivery that it's very difficult for her to match. Batwoman's teeming writer's room is spectacularly inept at exposition. Or practically anything else. Everything in Batwoman, the plots, dialogue, characterizations, is very comic booky in the worst sense of the word. It's easy enough to watch that I'll stick around to see if it blossoms into something more by Dan Freeberg. Feinberg? That's not that's not a recommendation. It's easy enough to watch. That's no, something has to be at least better. It has to have something in it. You'll see if it develops into something because it, it's important for representation. No, no, that's not important. Good escapist entertainment is uh, important. So even these shills at comic book movie and slotsy at the movie, just uh, shill, 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 these idiots. Uh, their compliments are kind of not so great compliments. I gave it a shot. That was bad, really bad. Okay, these are the audience reviews, and these are, this is what, what they're realistic. I like comics and movies with female leads. Okay, you got your virtue signal out of the way. I don't hate women. I'm not a misandrist or misogynist. Or misanthrope. So I had high hopes for this. Sadly, this is the most cheesy and cliched TV show I have seen so far. Please fire the writers and give Batwoman a better story. Uh, yeah, or you know, fire the lead actress and fire hire a not short-haired, not angry Rachel Maddow clone. You know, somebody that will appeal to a large, large audience instead of just you know, short-haired, angry lesbians. I wasn't specifically look forward to the series. I gave it a try. Ruby Rose does quite a good job in her portrayal of the superheroine. Unimpressive plot and lack of action in the first episode ruined it for me. I'll watch at least two episodes before I make a decision. This is an awfully cringy show. It's my honest opinion. Oh, you gave good reviews. I have no words other than, come on, CW, y'all can do better. I was excited, then disappointed with the writing, overall look and feel. Maybe watch a couple more, but I doubt it will get better. I'm with you there. Try to give it a shot. Honestly, I'll have to watch more to get into this one. I think the writing is suffering. Wow, what's to like about this dumpster fire? Bad everything. Please tell me how Kate finds the Batcave in less than 30 seconds. What the heck? If you follow canon, very few people have discovered the Batcave, and it took them a long time to figure it out. I know I'll get booed for saying it, because it's a comic book character. Ruby Rose looks like she weighs in at about 80 pounds soaking wet. She could have studied under Chuck Norris himself, and she couldn't take out the average guy. 
It's so unbelievable it detracts from the show. That's some awesome army training she got. Did they give her super soldier serum? Sorry, wrong universe. Skip this crap and watch The Boys or The Expanse on Amazon. Yeah, good point. There's such a thing as the appearance of truth for similitude and the willing suspension of disbelief. And, you know, if the, your Batman character, or your character is six foot two and 240 pounds of, you know, deadlifted, growth hormone enhanced, uh, DECA, testosterone type of guy. All right, you buy it. But Ruby Rose, come on. <laughs> Uh, I guarantee, and, and the thing is, the cameras always add add weight. If you if you saw her in person, she would be. I bet you she's probably a hundred and fifteen pounds. I don't know how tall she is. Good looking chick, definitely. Good for a model, definitely. But uh, for an action film where she has to beat up two hundred pound men who are, oh, come on, it's just nonsense. Had me laughing, but for the wrong reasons. Just terrible. Even the Batwoman with Holly Berry was better than this dumpster fire. Just terrible. The Holly Berry... Wait, Catwoman was... No, wait. Was that... Was that her? Or... Oh, okay, okay. I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm not thinking... God, I'm going to screw this up. Uh, Uma Thurman was... No, okay, never mind. I, I know people are going to spurg out if I make a mistake like that. Absolute garbage. Just pure fermented and putrid garbage. I think uh, CW should move on from superhero, superhero shows. It's getting a little tired. Or, or do them well, you know. My wife said, give it a chance. So I did. 27 minutes in. It was her who turned it off. Said, I can't take this shit anymore. I completely agree. Show was just garbage. Past, we're watching something else. It was very bad. I really don't like the action scenes. Like, well, she's 100 pounds. Come on. She's 100. She's, if, she's, if she's 5 foot 4, then she's pr pr barely 100 pounds. That chick is very lean. Her arms, you could probably put your hand around her, or you know, one 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 hand around her arms. Garbage. I cannot believe CW. Well, they did it. They did this terrible show because it's just propaganda. Women can do anything, and you know, women really want to run around a city and beat people up because that's that's how we know women behave. They they really you know don't want to be home having kids, raising families. They want to um, sure sure guys. We see your agenda. Hot garbage, a low budget mess. You thought Ruby Rose was a good choice to be Batwoman, but they ruined everything around her and they ruined her. She's a decent actress, but they, well, okay, decent actress well enough, but you have to look the role. Oh God, what trash did I just watch? I'm gonna go read my Batwoman comics. Those better not be by Gail Simone. Street garbage. This felt like a middle school play that had... Now, you know, I wonder if someone uses the word feminist garbage, you know, feminist or something like that, if those comments will be deleted. I bet you they would, because I'm noticing people aren't saying a lot of... There are certain words that are not included. The main chick had no acting skill. Don't let the official critics fool you. This is hot garbage. Sucks so bad, I want my 45 minutes of life back. Biggest pile of excrement I've ever seen. My wife and I tried to watch, just couldn't get into it. Fifteen minutes in before I had to tap out. Started with Smallville and will end with Batwoman. Too bad it didn't end for Batwoman. What a trash of series. Absolutely horrible. My God, what were they thinking? My God, the humanity. Liam H. gives it five stars. Wow, must be Citizen Kane. A refreshing new take on the classic Batwoman storyline. Filled with action and heart. Why are you lying to us? Why are you doing this? Come on. You did probably didn't even watch it. In fact, reading that review, I'm almost positive you didn't watch it. How do, how do you get five stars with a... Which is just shilling. You're just absolutely shilling for virtue signaling. And then you get other reviews that say, Terrible on every level. Cancel it. How does that happen? Hmm? Horrible, ridiculous, cheap feeling. Oh, you give it five stars, too. The pilot plot had some of the usual pilot problems. It's trying to fit a satisfying... Well, I, it, fair enough. I have a hard time spelling pilot, also. It's trying to fit a satisfying story and all the necessary backstory in 42 minutes. Surprisingly, it succeeds. Alice is a wonderful villain, right from moment one. Kate gets a good start from the moment she appears on screen. It's fun and captures the spirit of the comic. Um... Okay. Derivative cookie covers, uh, cookie cutter, CW, WB show, okay in the beginning, 
but that's in the past hokey dialogue you give it three and a half stars the first look at Batwoman was pretty good for a new show I think it will get its wings and smooth out some as it moves through the season acting was okay too I've seen a lot worse <laughs> in other okay well you know you've seen worse acting that's not necessarily alright decent first episode of the show's capacity to improve Okay, so you get it four stars, but you know it has capacity to improve. All right, so some people like it. Fair enough. Jason D says, it was enjoyable. I'm not sure what all the hate is about. But you give it five stars and you say it's enjoyable. Five stars means it's fire. Unfortunately, with fails, everything it tried to accomplish, not a good Batman show, poor writing, poor acting, poor casting, doesn't further or help the LGBTQ, where's the plus bigot, caused by turning the message in itself a stereotype. Can't we just say gay plus, and that will cover everything? What about the lesbians? Hey, nobody cares about the lesbians. Shallow in its exploration and weak in its arguments. Interesting. Anyway, you can go to... Um, you can go to Rotten Tomato and leave your own review if they allow you, but I'm sure they're deleting any reviews. They have just, they've lost their freaking mind. I think they started losing their mind over the Captain Marvel thing. I mean, even Netflix went crazy with the Amy Schumer thing where she's a, Amy Schumer was a, uh, I don't know, 200 pound woman wearing leather doing a comedy special where she talks about her VJJ and how disgusting she is, and how disgusting her body is, and how disgusting her JJ is. <sighs> Stunning and brave, Amy. Stunning and brave. Right, I guess, see you next episode.